So there's another shooting in Chicago. Four people dead, including a cop. Suspect dead. Mass shooting in Chicago. It's nothing new. I don't even know why it's on the news. What do you expect? They want gun control, gun control, gun control. And then there's a mass shooting today in Chicago. Why, why am I reporting a mass shooting in Chicago? That's like every other day. Oh, that's not, oh, okay, never mind, never mind. It was at a hospital. Oh, big deal. It was a domestic dispute. Yeah, nothing to report there. Let's talk about something else. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the Grand Wizard of the Democratic Party. Now, I love women with brown skin. I do. I don't like white women. I like a good girl with brown skin. I'm a brown... I mean, I mean I'm a brownie digger. <laughs> But anyway, you know, I got a Filipina. She's brown. So let's talk about Andrea, no, 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 Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Who was, uh, I, I seen a Mark Dice video. I'll post a link to the, to the video in the description below. I would upload it, but Mark Dice has a problem with people re-uploading videos. Uh, back in 2013, I re-uploaded a, a Mark Dice video and it got copyrighted. Like, he's like really, really strict against people, you know, uploading his content. Me, I don't give a shit. But him, he makes money on his stuff, so no disrespect to Mark. I bought his books. I'm having problems buying this new book because, uh, having problems at Amazon. I'm gonna have to make a new account. But anyway, let's talk about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The genius who is uh, pretty much taking some heat from her own Democratic Party. She's pretty much, I don't know what the hell is going on. Just check out the link below. I was on Mark Dice's channel. She's like the grand wizard of the Democratic Party. She is calling on all Democrats to take over the three chambers of government. That's what she said, three chambers. That's a her words. Three chambers. First she said three chambers of Congress. It's, oh, no, no, oh, it's three chambers of government. The three chambers of government, according to her. She's so smart. Three chambers of government, according to her, which is the Senate, the House, and the Presidency. No. Alexandria Acaso idiot. We have three branches of government. Okay, let me let me tell you something. She has a college degree. I don't. I haven't graduated high school. I didn't graduate high school. She has a college degree. And she doesn't know the three chambers of government. I haven't graduated high school. I'm a truck driver. I went to truck driving school. No college degree. And I know more about the government than she does. I got nine years on her. I'm 36. She's 27. As a matter of fact, she's the youngest person ever elected to Congress. So let me explain. Here's a little, uh, I'm not going to say history. Here's a little uh, economic, well not economics. Here's a little uh, social studies, government, lecture, intelligence, uh, education for you Nimrods and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez if she's watching she's probably not gonna watch but you know if, if by chance she is watching this video let me educate you a little bit you idiot okay I'm not, I'm not trying to call you an idiot but I know everybody's an idiot to me but let me educate you you uh, Nimrods out there not just her but all the Democratic liberal uh, airheads that are watching let me educate you a little bit. The three chambers? What are you fucking watching Harry Potter? Three chambers? The chambers? What, what the hell are you watching? A horror movie? Okay, we have three branches of government. The judicial, the executive, and the legislative. The legislative branch has two chambers. The Senate and the House of Representatives. The judicial, which covers pretty much the Supreme Court. The executive branch, which is, you know, pretty much the presidency. 
And then we had the legislative branch that make up the laws. They have two, two chambers. The House of Representatives and the Senate. Let me explain what the House of Representatives is. That's Congress. 435 members. 435 congressional districts in the United States of America. Each state has different number of congressional districts depending on the population of your state. When you go to vote on election day, if you voted beyond the president, governor, senate, you also vote for your congressional district. You vote for a representative of your congressional district. Depending on what congressional congressional district you live in. You should know this stuff. If you go to vote, you should know who your representative in Congress is dependent on the congressional district that you live in. Me, I am a registered voter out of the state of Michigan. I don't know the exact number, but my congressional district representative is John Mulliner. I voted and helped re-elect Republican Congressional District Representative of Central Michigan District number. I can't remember the number. I have to look it up. But I re-elected. I helped re-elect Republican Congressional District Leader of my Congressional District, John Mulliner. He is one of the 435 representatives in the House of Representatives of Congress. When you go to vote somebody in your congressional district, you are voting for a member of Congress to help make up the laws. Alexandria Ortez, or Acaso Cortez, whatever, is a congressional district leader of some fucking congressional district in New York. She was, elect she was elected to Congress because the idiots in her congressional district Want her? Want a rep? Want she's the representing fool of her congressional district. There's 435 congressional districts in the United States of America. The House of Representatives. They have the Republicans and they have to get the Democrats. Each party needs 218 seats to win the majority. This election, the Democrats won the majority. They won the House. Oh well. The House turned blue. 2020, hopefully it turns red again. That goes for all you idiots out there who don't understand Congress and the House of Representatives or how the legislative branch works. That's how it works. I'm surprised. I don't. I don't even know if Alexandria Cortez, whatever her damn name, I can never pronounce it. Acas, Ant. It's, you remember TTC? Remember Anthony Asshole? Anthony Paso? This name sounds kind of familiar. Alexandria Asshole, Cortez, whatever her name. Costco idiot. Alexandria a Costco. Cortez, whatever. Whatever. The goofball that looks like uh, a Latina female version of Bugs Bunny. That's what I'm trying to... Her. 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 Anyway. The idiots vote... Why do they vote for these idiots? They don't even... She, she, I, I'm, I don't even know if she knows what the hell she's running for. Or what the hell she's supposed to do in Congress. Last year, I'm, I'm not trying to get in anybody's personal business, but this was also in the Mark Dice video. Last year, this Nimrod made $26,000. In New York, which is like bare minimum wage for New York, $26,000 she made last year. Last year. My question is, what the fuck were you doing to make $26,000 in a year in the high-tax New York? The rent there is like twelve hundred dollars a month. How the fuck? What was she doing? That that that's for New. I understand twenty six thousand dollars a year 
in maybe Mississippi or Arkansas, you could probably live on. In a trailer, on a piece of land, low rent, you could probably you could buy, probably make a good living on twenty six thousand dollars. I'm not gonna say a good living, but in Arkansas and Mississippi, and twenty six thousand dollars, you could probably be okay. In the Philippines, that's like having a castle. But in fucking New York, so my question is, what the fuck was she doing that she only made twenty six thousand dollars last year? So I answer. She was a crew member at McDonald's. I was a crew member at Burger King years ago. And I think my best year was like $17,000. But I was a teenager at the time. So. Well, I got Well, I think one year I made twenty-one. I only did it for six years and I went into trucking. Because Burger King doesn't pay. So let's get back to Andrea, Alexandria, asshole Cortez. Um, she's going from making $26,000 last year. This year in Congress, I'm not making this number up. She is going to make $174,000. One hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars that she is going to make in one fucking year for doing almost nothing by sitting on her ass in the House of Representatives making up dumb liberal laws. Why the fuck are they making this much money? She's living on your tax dollars. Your tax dollars that the IRS, that Uncle Sam steals from you, that if you don't pay, the IRS will put a gun to your head and say, give it to Uncle Sam. That right there is a leech. She is leeching on your tax dollars. $174,000 that each member of Congress is going to be making. four hundred Times that by 435. You know how much that is? I calculated it. It's seventy-five million six hundred and ninety thousand dollars a year. Seventy-five million six hundred and ninety thousand dollars of your tax dollars is going towards these idiots that you voted for. Multiply it. One hundred seventy-four thousand. Multiply four hundred thirty-five. It comes to seventy-five million six hundred and ninety thousand. We waste more fucking money. They waste, they waste more fucking money than my brother. My brother buys dumb shit online all the time. He's like Amazon's preferred customer. They waste more fucking money. Jesus Christ. Well, the government doesn't have any money. No shit. And they get a pension for life. And you wonder why these people are rich. I, I, shit. I'm in the wrong fucking, uh, I'm in the wrong fucking field of work, huh? As an owner-operator truck driver, I don't quite that I don't quite make that much. Maybe I should run for Congress in my congressional district. Maybe I should take John Mulliner's seat. Anyway, I'm here in California, and I just came out of Bakersfield. I'm telling you, man, the fucking air. Is all fucked up. I'm telling you, man. That this wildfire shit is—it's fucking getting on my nerves. I'm smelling that shit. You, the the, the fucking air looks fu so fucking disgusting. All that fucking air. I just came out of Bakersfield, 
And I'm telling you, man, that it's I the air is like it's fucked up right now. The wildfires from Malibu and Southern California. It's I'm driving across Kern County. And oh my god, that fucking air is just disgusting looking. It's fucking disgusting looking. I, I... Jesus. I can't even explain what the sky looks like. I can't explain it. Until you see this shit in person, it ain't smog. It's the fucking smoke that's covering fucking all of Southern California from all those wildfires. I'm looking at the sky right now. I can see it. It's dark time right now, but I'm looking at the, the fucking air. I'm looking at the fucking uh, light shining down on the parking lot right now. And you can see the fucking air. Air doesn't have a color, but you can see it. You can see it in the air. The disgusting... It looks disgusting. And I'm breathing in this shit. I finally made it to California. I'm just outside of Bakersfield. I'm in... Kern County, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Shit. So I just want to educate some of you morons on uh, some uh, some social studies. Uh, I should I should go be a social studies teacher in China. I better make a, a killing. If you you know you could be an English teacher in China. And make a killing. Oh yeah. I know a guy did it. There's a guy I know. He uh, fled the United States because he... Uh, I don't really know him, know him. But, uh, you know, he... Uh, well, they, anyway, they caught this guy. This was a little while back. About 20 years ago, he uh, molested a child. And then put a bullet in his wife's head. He was all over America's Most Wanted. And he fled to China. And in China, he taught English for like 17 years. They finally caught him and he now, they extradited him back to the United States. That was like... I don't know, he was in China for like 17 years. So anyway. His wife was Filipina. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Just like me. Anyway... So, uh, Alexandria Acaso Cortez. She's got that brown skin, and I'm attracted to that brown skin. I love that brown skin, I'm telling you. But she's got the fucking uh, brains of uh, a bag of rocks. So, oh well. Anyway, that's it. <laughs>